G'day, Alistair Christie here from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video we're going to look at a bug in uh, the tzip file. Now I came across this because I have been working on my zip compression in Delphi which I started a uh, three years ago and have um, with a, a, a baby and writing a book uh, had been on hold but I'm uh, getting back into that so I've, I've added um, about four new videos about 17 minutes of content there's about three hours of content out there now and I came across this bug in the um, comments the zip comment or zip file name or zip file comments so let's create a new VCL application and I'll just demonstrate the bug a button and a list box so we'll start by using system.zip and we'll create a new zip file and I'll need a something to store the zip file in so we'll use the memory stream and open our memory stream and we need to specify as if open mode um, zm read write will do and eventually we should free the zip file oh my memory stream as well we'll try that okay that's cool so I'm going to add some files to our zip file and what we'll do is instead of adding um, a actual physical file we'll just create some data and we'll just create um, file one and So we're using one of the many overloads of add. Oops. So this is the, these uh, t, t bytes, and so we're using t encoding to get convert this string, this UTF UTF eight string, into bytes. Not that any Unicode characters in there, so it doesn't make, make much difference. But let's have three files. and I'm also going to add a file comment for the first file so uh, zero comment one so we'll just close that zip file and, and save it all off and then we'll reopen it uh, what do you need to do is reset the position of the memory stream to zero reopen our zip file and then I'm just going to list those file comments in the uh, list box so 0 to z dot file count minus 1 list box 1 dot items dot add and we want to grab the file comment for the appropriate file and if we run this we get file comment one listed three times and uh, there is not a bug here the bug is actually in tzip file so if we have a look at file comment and we'll have a look at the internals of this a little bit I go into listen in ridiculous detail in my uh, course but uh, have like a file comment and we're getting this if files which is a list of tzip header and in tzip header we have our file comment as tbytes and it does a similar thing um, as grabs and encoding and does uh, get string so um, but then the bug occurs in if we go to open there is this method called read central header and if we scroll down 
to where it is reading the file comment. So we see it's checking the file comment length, which is reading in. So uh, L header is a local variable and it's of type T zip header. T zip header is a record. And so we're running through this loop for each of the um, file headers and loading various bits into the header. And here we are loading the file comment. Now I will set a breakpoint here and run this. And so we're now uh, looping through, well, actually we're pulling open. Uh, it's obviously uh, finding the correct line there, but that's that's okay. <laughs> I know what it's meant to be doing. Um, so our first comment, nine characters, that's fine. So you know, we step through and it adds. We come through it again, our file comment length is zero, but if we have a look at the file comment, it's not being reset. So when we go to save it, the uh, it's adding to our list of headers a the an incorrect file comment, so it should be blank. I, I keep putting F nine to uh, <laughs> to run, but that's um pauses the video. It's a slight digression. So this is actually not too hard to fix. Um, and let's have a look at that um, right now. Now, when you find a bug, you should create a uh, unit test for it. And I don't have the unit tests for uh, system.zip, but I can add a new project and add a dunitx project. And I will just create the setup and teardown methods. Um, text fixture, we'll call it test, t-test. Okay, and I've installed test insight, which you can do from here. Uh, it's uh, definitely a project worth looking at. So what I'm going to do is tell this to be my test insight project, and then view test insight explorer, and I shall just dock that dock it right there. So if I run this now, we see that we're failing three tests. Um, we're going to get, only going to need the one test case. And we'll use system.zip and I will uh, uh, this is a bit redundant, but um we so I'm just using the uh, setup and teardown methods. So for every test that we have, and we've only got one, uh, it'll run these two methods. So we want to reproduce our test. Um, let's rename that to uh, test. After um non blank comment okay that's a ridiculous name but that's cool oh and it didn't work uh -huh. it did work i should have deleted that okay that's cool we ran it and it works so um oh, i might as well stay on that project and we can verify our tests and and just verify that we can have can indeed have a successful test. So we're going to want some test code. 
and z3 I need a memory stream this my memory and encoding yep cool okay and let's go one so dot uh equal a blank comment but we should do it for all of them and, uh, zero and two i should probably have a constant there but anyway so that should be our uh failing test that we need to fix Oops, and yes, so let's come without those and verify test pass. Access violation. That. Okay. Maybe zip file handles the um, memory stream. But anyhow, so that's it passing, that's it failing. So I will add a new unit. And I can rename it to um, zip fix. We use system.zip and create a new class uh, T something like that. And then in our unit test, we can instead use um zip fix oh in fact no we'll leave we'll leave zip in there and and we will create an instance of the fixed zip file and Oops, no, it's going to go to our uh, fdiff confused um, end if files now. Okay, and we should better run that. Get rid of our messages. Okay, so we're still failing. Um, expected blank. In this comment, comment one. Okay, so our fix. If we have a look at system zip, I this I thought of a number of ways of fixing this. Um, firstly, could possibly do it in open, but open is not virtual. Uh, we could do it in um, get well. Ideally, would would fix it in the um, central header uh just one of these sorry read central header there it is uh but also not virtual but what is virtual is get file comment so we can go to zip fix and i can press control space and we can you override get file comment in fact i could probably override get internal file comment I did this one in my, my, my testing, so we'll do that. Screw up the formatting a little bit. Now, basically, um, let's see if uh, this changes things. Let's get back to our... Comment that one out. So we should get a, a passing test. Um, if I run it, we should get a passing test. And we do. And that should still fail. Oh. Let's move this up to the top. Okay. <laughs> After all that, 
Let's now go back to our zip fix and uh, yeah, expected file commit one. And yeah, so we can, what we can do is we can say if file info um, index dot, uh, oops, file comment length equals zero. Else inherited. Do I have to else result? I'm not sure if I can do that. I think we can. So um, we can run this and we now get our test passing. So if we have a look back, we can see that our first comment is our first comment that we set, and the other two comments are now reading is blank. So that's that's a fix. Um, this is a, quite a long video. It's a bit rambling, but I hope you found it interesting. Uh, if you want to know a lot more about zip files, you can get early access to my um, zip uh, zip compression in Delphi training series. Uh, so this is an old beard. Uh, it's rather accessible. Probably should update the photos. But I've also reported this as a bug, and I'll be linking this video into it as well. So I'm Alistair Christie. I hope you found this interesting. Um, there, there are if you should report bugs that you find, uh, and because they do they do actually get fixed, which is uh, quite good. So most of what I have uh, reported has been fixed in in in, in Delphi. Uh, sometimes it take might take a couple of versions, but uh, depending just on the release cycle and when they get to uh, finding the bugs. So um, I'm Alistair Christie. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next video.